Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. We're getting ready to review the Transformers, the movie, Decepticon Air Commander Starscream. This is a Walmart reissue that's currently showing up in stores, and we're going to take a look at it today, but we're also going to compare it to the original Starscream and also the Takara reissue from the 2000s. Okay, gang, well, let's first take a look at the packaging here. Uh, as you can see, uh, this has a homage to the 1986 Transformers movie. Uh, you can see the Chaos Bringer Unicron on the top and then the typical transformation of Starscream. Some great artwork on the front and on the sides. And you can see kind of a Unicron motif here and then a uh, product shot of the figure. A little bit of the dialogue on the back. The universe is threatened by the greatest villain Cybertron has ever known. The heroic Autobots must find a way to destroy the menace if they hope to save their home world till all are one. And then the text back. Um, here's the UPC code. Okay, gang, well, let's first take a look at the packaging here. Uh, as you can see, Okay, so now here's what it looks like inside the box. Again, Hasbro has moved to the plastic-free packaging. So this is how Starscream comes. And then I'm guessing our accessories are in here. So let's take a look. All right, gang, now that we have the figure out of the package, let's kind of take a look at the figure itself. So as you can see, very animation-like. Uh, you've got a good... Uh, deco here. Uh, I believe this is the first time here that they have painted the underside of the jet nose uh, so it looks more like the original head or also um, if you're familiar with the original G1 toys um, it looks like a lot of the promotional material uh, being black like that uh, kind of fades in with the head. And as we compare it to the other Star Screams in a minute, you'll see uh, some of the key differences in the color schemes, but overall, uh, good animation-like accuracy here. Now, if you're familiar with the Toys R Us reissues from the 2000s, um, you'll know that uh, Star Scream came with uh, longer missiles. Uh, these are very different than the original ones, uh, more child safety friendly. Again, the blasters, the exact same thing. Um, one of the things I noticed right away on my particular copy might be different with the one you get, but uh, this bottom stock is supposed to rest and go right under here uh, for Megatron attached to the bottom of Starscream's fist. And I have tried now for about five minutes and cannot get it to attach. Um, either the pegs warped or the plastic's not drilled out enough, uh, but there's definitely an issue on my particular copy here, which may not be uh, on your particular copy. Um, you also notice the nose cone is kind of offset here. Um, I've tried adjusting it, but again, it looks like uh, they press the tolerance during the assembly too much um, and it's just uh, kind of warped. Okay, now let's take a look at the Star Screams in comparison. So here we have a original Generation 1 Star Scream, and you can see shorter blasters, much darker uh, deco with the traditional blue versus the animation deco. Okay, comparing these two side by side. Okay, this is the Takara Tomy release uh, from the 2000s. And again, this is the Walmart issue that just came out. So if you look at the two, again, kind of similar on the color scheme, a little bit darker on the Takara version. But again, you have the traditional size blasters and there are really no tolerance issues putting this Megatron and attaching it to the fist. Um, nose cones, very different. Again, same as the wing color, the fist color. This one here um, is more animation accurate and uh, has the gray nose cone. A uh, quick note on this one, um, if you're looking for decals and asking, well, why are there no decals on this figure? Well, no decals were included in this set. Um, it appears to be um, all items are painted on and there are no additional decals to be added, unlike the G1 or the Takara release. 
All right, let's take a look at the jet mode. And again, you can see the nose cone blends in a lot better than the other releases uh, and is more animation accurate having the gray nose cone. The tampoons on the wings. Again, you're gonna see those very, very long missiles, uh, which in my opinion, detract from it. You may choose to use the uh, lasers instead when you display it in the jet mode. Nice uh, painted striping on the cockpit here. Okay, so taking a look at two of the jet modes in comparison. So we have the Walmart reissue uh, that just released, and then we have the Takara Tomy uh, issue from about the 2000s. I uh, think around 2009, 2010. And you can see the jet modes are similar. Again, slightly different color from the wingtips, definitely on the nose cones. And you can see the differences in the cockpits. Um, the lasers are where they definitely stand out. All right, finally, let's take a look at the last uh, comparison here. So here's the Walmart reissue again, and then we have the original uh, G1 Star Scheme release. This particular one, you can see, again, much darker uh, tail fins, thrusters, the nose cone's completely different. And again, very stark comparison between this one and the one that was recently reissued. All right, now bringing back in the Takara animation uh, reissue, and then just giving you a shot of all three, you can see, again, the differences between the three of them. All right, now bringing back. Okay, so how does it stack up? How does this Walmart reissue release stack up to the other ones? Well, again, if you don't have the G1 Starscream figure, you do not have uh, the reissue from Takara Tomy from the 2000s. Again, this is a great figure for you to have, especially if you want an animation accurate figure. Again, on my copy, I have tolerance issues with the Megatron gun, so the stock does not attach. Again, it uh, sounds like I'll have to modify that or have to dig into it a little bit deeper. Also, the missiles are the elongated ones that came like the Toys R Us reissue. Uh, again, those stick out very far. So ultimately, where does it stand on the rating scale? Well, when you're talking about robot points, I'm gonna give this one a solid eight. Uh, again, if you do not have this figure, I definitely recommend it. Uh, if you're a G1 fan, but never had Starscream, this is the one for you. And I believe it's a $33.99 figure. Great price compared to a vintage Starscream if you're not in the market to invest in that. However, uh, if you already have several copies of Starscream, this one might be a skip. Who disrupts my coronation? Coronation Starscream? This is bad comedy. Megatron? Is that you? Here's a hint. Thanks again for taking time to check out this review. This is Junior's Retro Wonderland, and we'll see you next time.